Ah, this is the first time I gotta take a short break all day. Whew, I'm worn out today, boys and girls, but I got something interesting. First of all, I have two questions. You're gonna have to watch a little bit of this video to answer the questions. And then hopefully later this week, I'll have a really interesting answer for you. Okay, uh, two questions. The first one is, how much am I gonna get out of all this junk that I've recycled in my garage? My dad brings me things, and I collect things, and people sometimes drop off junk, and I scrap it out into individual pieces, bring it to the scrapyard. So the first question is, how much money am I going to bring in? Okay, now here's what I've got to bring in. There's a few more items laying around that I need to add to this pile, so most of it is here on the trailer. Uh, let's start over here. Alright, I have some aluminum. This is uh, pot metal, cast, cast aluminum. All right, some of these pieces are pretty big. Um, so there's some aluminum. I also have some extruded aluminum, which usually brings a little bit more. And I have sheet aluminum and a few odds and ends down in here, okay? So there's my aluminum. Let's look at the, uh, oh, I have some aluminum wire too, which I don't know what that'll bring. I now uh, let's look at the stay uh, steel. I didn't separate the stainless for the steel because I had such a little bit. It didn't bother me. So this is all the steel that I have. You can here's the elliptical machine, <laughs> coat hangers, uh, a light, VCR covers. Here's a motor casing, old computers, an old fridge. Took apart a, uh, a water fountain my dad brought me. Okay, so that's that's most of the steel. Most of it's in there. There's only a few pieces here and there. Um, now here's the new thing. I do have some electrical motors I've been keeping for some reason. I don't know why, but I got four of them with the reducers on them. They're actually brand new, but they're not use. They're not useful for anything. They're too high a voltage. I'm just I'm tired of looking at them. So I need the the money, and I'll explain to you why maybe later in a week. So I'm gonna try to get some money out of these bad boys. I've got four of them here. I might be able to get electrical scrap for those. I'm not sure. Uh, in the trunk here, I've got the other motors that I've been collecting, okay? So I've got quite a few bit of motors. They're pretty heavy. Um, I've got some Christmas lights. I separated all the stuff in my basement. I've gotten rid of all the extra crap of wire. I've been collecting wire forever. So back there is a box full of just regular wire with no ends. All I cut all the ends off of them. This is uh, like double insulated wire, phone cables, stuff like that. I've got a few Christmas lights. There's a few more Christmas lights I need to add to this. All right, so that's that's the most of it. Um, where was the box? Uh, I already threw the box of ends away somewhere. Now here's all the here's all the ends that I cut off. Look at these bad boys, man. There's so many of them in there. There's a lot in the bottom of this can. Oh, that's trash. Um, let's see. I do have one more little item right there. Some steel and aluminum that I'm going to be taking apart. Scrapping. So you can see I got rid of all the motors that were on my shelf over there and added a few other things. Um, computers. One of my buddies. There's some computers over there. One of my buddies, I told him about it. He's going to come and get these computers for like 30 bucks. We'll add that onto the tally. You know I'm getting thirty dollars. All this will be in U.S. dollars. So question goes out: How much will I receive? And I'll give you an answer. Um, and the reason that I'm clearing all this junk out, two reasons. The main reason is is because I'm bringing something else in. The money I get for this should pay for that. Um, this is actually the way I've been funding a lot of my research as well. I do this about every year. I usually fill up my garage. You guys see slowly progressive things get filled up. Um, I throw some stuff behind my garage here too sometimes and then I'll eventually do this and I'll bring it in and usually use that money towards uh, research unless like the water heater explodes or something like happened before well, it didn't actually blow up but broke the pipe off and it ran all over the place it was awesome that's on YouTube well not the event but the aftermath and then my pipe blew up downstairs yeah anyway um, so the first question is how much do you think I'll receive out of all this junk? And um, the second question is, what do you think I'll be receiving? What do you think I've got in store to put right there? 
in in this area about there yeah okay something very cool something that will be extremely useful and something that every guy that builds stuff needs to have what do you think it is anyway um, we'll see how it goes I'll let you guys go I'm thinking I'm thinking before the end of next week for sure you'll have the video and answer for what I'm receiving and you'll definitely have um, an answer on how much this stuff costs probably before that I might wait till that video but whoever gets it right or gets it the closest okay gets a prize that's right I will give away a prize if you guys guess it right um, all right peace and love you guys see you next time you're gonna like this it's gonna be a lot of fun so yeah I got all the grass where it gets dark pretty dark out here Eh, camera looks pretty good <laughs> now I'm going <laughs> oh I got the grass mode, <clears throat> but it's dark out. I forgot to add a few things that I have. These are probably going to be hard to see. Yeah, you can see them. I've got some mixed brass copper fittings. I've got some regular, actual like copper. Then I've got a bunch of regular brass. Alright, actual brass pieces. And I've got a little bit of magnet wire, which they take separately. So, add this onto this and give me your thoughts all right oh, oh. see russ rwg research peace